or the first wheel decides my build. Let's see which victim I have to use. Come on. Let's see which victim I have to use for the first episode. Have to use Leland for the first wheel decides my build episode. For the first perk, let's see which perk I have to use. Come on, there's so many perks on this uh, on Leland's skill tree, so... Okay, so I have to use Second Wind for the first perk, which is a guaranteed perk. For the second perk, let's see what I have to use. So the first perk I have to use is Second Wind. So this for the second perk, I have to use Exit Strategy, which is a default perk. For the third and final perk, let's see what I have to use. So we got Exit Strategy and Second Wind. Okay, so for the third perk, it's a random perk, and it's Bounce Back Better, which is actually a really good perk. Let's go, man. All right, the next wheel I'm going to spin is for the ability tree. So let's see which side I have to go for for level one. Okay, let's see. So for level one, I have to go to the left side. For level two, I can only go to the left or middle side. But if I do hit the middle side for level two, then there's a possibility I can go to the right side for level three. So let's see if, what we can get here. Come on. So for level two, I have to go to the left side. For level three, let's see which side I have to go for. Hopefully the middle because I can get the concussion effect for level three. Okay, so for level three, I have to go to the left side once again. For the last wheel, I'm going to spin the attributes wheel. So this, how this is going to work is I'm going to spin this wheel three times. And whatever it lands on, I'm going to have to put my attribute points into that attribute. So for an example, if I spin the wheel three times and I get proficiency all three times, I can only put my attribute points into proficiency. So let's see what I can get for the first spin here. Come on. I'm hoping for proficiency, to be honest. Okay, so I have to, I have to put my attribute points into endurance. For the second attribute, let's see what I can get. So first, we got Endurance. Let's see if we can get Endurance again. Okay, so I have to put my attribute points into both Endurance and Stealth. For the third attribute, let's see what I can get. Come on. Let's see. Okay, so I have to put my attribute points into Endurance, Stealth, and Toughness. All right, guys, this is the build that the wheel chose for me. So for the ability tree, obviously, as you guys saw, it made me go to the left all three times. So obviously, I obviously I only have quicker recharge. And then for my perks, I have second wind. So after being injured, you are able to recover 30 stamina by avoiding damage for the next seven seconds. And then for the second perk, we got a default perk, which is exit strategy. And somehow I do have this perk level two. So after unlocking a door, the door stays high highlighted for all victims for 45 seconds and then for the third perk this is a good perk bounce back better and this is a random perk so healing items can or healing items used on you are 25 percent more effective counts for being healed and healing yourself for the attributes we got 33 attribute points in total from the skill tree and i had to put my attribute points into endurance toughness and stealth so i put five attribute points into endurance which gives me 35 endurance 13 attribute points into toughness, which gives me 33 toughness, and then 15 attribute points into stealth, which gives me 25 stealth. So this is my Leland build that the wheel decided for me, and I'm going to play three games with this build. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, the first game is on Family House. I'm kind of nervous, not going to lie with you, because <laughs> I usually run proficiency on all my characters, and I have 25 proficiency with Leland, so... And we'll see how it goes though, man. 35 endurance as well we got. This is like my first time not using choose flight. This is actually good practice without choose flight, to be honest with you. It is on family though, so I don't know if I can even make it down the what's it called? Down the road if they turn off generator. I'm still rushing though, I don't even care. Even though I have 25 stealth. <laughs> you gotta rush on this map, I think. So yeah, he's gonna come over here. I have 25 proficiency, so I can't really I can't really do much. Yeah, I, I can't do nothing. Can't really do much. This is gonna be a tough one, guys. Twenty-five proficiency is like terrible. Like, look at this. Oh my god. I'm so unused to um. I might do fuse. I'm so unused to fifty proficiency or just forty minimum. God, man, 50 or 25 proficiency or yeah, 25 proficiency is just terrible, man. They're all over. 
Oh my gosh, this is going to be a rough one, guys. <laughs> Already. Oh my gosh. That's all I was hoping for proficiency, man, from the wheel. It's going up. Alright, guys, the left face is heading up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push up top. I'm gonna grab the fuse and push up. Hey, extra strategy. Strategy shows them. My team that unlocked the door. It's huge. Yeah, we're going up top. Screw this. Up. Can I use this? Come on, I gotta try to do fuse here. Quick math, quick math. Oh, I thought Cook was coming up here. Guess not. That's where I heard his footsteps. Eight and seven, eight and seven. Okay, let's go, come on. I don't got that much. Come on, 35 stamina, turn up. Turn up to 35 stamina. Turn up. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way, come on. I mean, 35 stamina is alright. I think you need, like, conditioned or something if you want to run. Let's go, come on. One for one. Let's go. All right, man. Let's go. This is the second game. The first game went like went really well for us. We did the fuse on family house. The only problem I have with this build is the 25 proficiency. Not going to lie. But what I should have done with the attributes, I should have put... I should have had 20 stealth and put the extra 5 into endurance, giving me 40 endurance. That's all good, though. Okay, it's going to be a tough one here. I'll be rushing this one, though. Let's go, let's go, let's get this uh, tool here, man. Oh, it just sucks, man. 25. Because you guys know, man, when I when I play on gas station, I just unlock the shed basement and go up top really quick. But, dude, 25 proficiency. You're going to be staying there for a while. Like, damn. Respect to people who play with 25 proficiency, honestly. <laughs> I can't do it. Appreciate it, uh, appreciate it uh, Danny. <laughs> but I hope, I hope this uh, cook is still placing his padlocks. Let's keep her doing it. Come on. Oh my god, look at 25, man. <laughs> okay. Now, where's this go? All right, guys. I did the left gen gate. I'm gonna try to do the generator gate, then kick gen. I'm I'm tampering with you, bro. Well, just well. Are you you're tampering right now? Okay. Yep. He's okay, tampering. Yeah. Okay. yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I could have done gen. Don't get me wrong, but I'd rather just take that fuse exit. To be honest with you. Yo, son, what are you doing? The boss. <laughs> Watch out. Let me see this perk second wind actually. Oh, it's not that bad if you get it like level three, eh? Because you're getting stamina back. I think I lost them. Just go away. Alright guys, GG's. Please. Good stuff. Let's go. Two for two with this build. Yeah, second wind's not that bad, I, I don't think. You get level three, obviously. All right, this is a third and final game with this build. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, we actually did pretty good with this build. Like we went two for two, two for two today so far. So let's make it three for three. But dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm bounce back better. Yeah, it's a good perk. Second wind is not that bad. I, I would say once you get level three, it's not gonna be that bad. 
Because, dude, what, like, once you get hit and you, and like, let's say you avoid damage. I think you, if you avoid damage for, like, what, seven seconds, you get your stamina back or something like that. That's really good, man. Especially considering two slights getting nerfed. All right, let's just spam here. I don't know why I was playing stealthy there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't even matter because I have 25 proficiency, so. Let's go, man. So this is Nancy's house, by the way. The first the first game we had was uh, Family House. And then Gas Station, now we have Nancy's house. Yep, let's try. This way. Okay, guys, I got a bubble on me. At uh, Man Cave. All I could do is 25 proficiency. And we did. Skull. Oh, buddy. I hope she doesn't place her trap up here, though. Oh, she did. Grab a bone scrap. They turn off generator, by the way, which is good. But let me see who they got. I got a cook, okay. Well, obviously, cook is probably gonna be placing a padlock up there, anyways. So I gotta save my stamina, too, man. I don't got that choose flight. It's too quiet. Much too quiet. Got that barbed wire. I'm gonna try to defuse. I really hope it's in Johnny Shack, man. Damn, it's not in there. Where is it? Is it up top? Get like one, probably one lock off of this or one checkpoint. North sign, Bubba. There we go. It's huge. That's a tough one, boys. Damn, if it spawned in Johnny Shack, that would have been huge, man. That would have been huge. So it's either in the house or at the, the battery. I'm gonna check battery actually real quick. Dropping down well, screw this. <laughs> Everyone's dropping down well. <laughs> oh my gosh, please don't turn off in time. Come on, I think we can make it. We got the 35 endurance. Come on, big money. I think Cook came down here as well. Pretty sure he opened that door. No, he didn't. Let's go three for three. Come on, three for three. 